Okay guys, we decided to give the camper another chance. Um, we're gonna go and try to clean it up a little bit. I wanna make sure this thing is totally sealed up and I've got an idea how to do it. Of course, I found the idea on the internet. I'm not taking credit for it, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And that's my main concern is, you know, it's already got water damage. Somebody sold it to me saying, oh, there's no more leaks in it, but I don't believe that for a second. So I'm gonna go in there and verify it. And I've got an idea with a fan. I got this old air conditioner squirrel cage fan and I'm going to create uh, enough air to blow into the camper and um, hopefully build up pressure inside the camper and then put uh, soapy water on the outside of the camper around the windows and around the, the roof and find out if I get any bubbles or anything and then I'll know where I need to go and patch. So hopefully this idea works out. Never done this before but I'm going to give it a shot and you guys get to watch whether I fail or not. There are a lot of wires coming off this thing. Man, the guy gave this to me so I could use it for, uh, you know, my shop. Get some air circulating. And uh, he told me how to wire it up and I have totally forgotten how to do it. Oh, there it is. The wiring charts right on the motor right there. Green is ground. Oh, it's got speeds. Low, medium, high. So red is uh, low, medium, low, yellow. Uh, red, high is brown, high is black. Common is white. Huh, easy enough. I don't know what the purple is though. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a uh, thermal sensors or something. I know those are thermal sensors. That's gotta be pretty cool. Okay, I got it wired up on the lowest speed. Sounds pretty good. You might ask yourself, why am I doing this? Um, the idea is I want to see if I can pressurize the camper. And uh, while pressurizing, I want to uh, put some soapy water on the outside and see if I can get it to blow bubbles so I can find leaks. Let me go get a ladder. Oh, I can feel them. I think I might bump it up to the high speed to see how, how well the high speed works. I think I'm going to open the door because I don't want to blow the thing up in case it goes too fast. So anyway, you can see where there are leaks. Luckily so far, the only one I had was up here, I think. Let me try this window over here. And be careful not to get any of this on my electrical over.
All right, we got a leak right here. Got some leaks right here. Stand. So far, so good. I expected to see a lot more than this. There you go, that shows you my theory works, huh? Yeah, I got a leak along the edge there. Or it looks like it's coming out of the back of that window. Yeah, so I did find some bubbles coming through in these edge edges right here but so far the roof is in good shape windows are in pretty good shape looks like we got a leak right here all along the door over there Door's got a little bit of leak in it, but the roof is pretty solid, and that's the main thing I was worried about. Um, all of these little accessories, the doors, and all the extra stuff, they need to be sealed. All right, nobody got electrocuted. It's a good day. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it, don't buy it.